definitely the coolest parking of the entire trip. What's up guys, welcome back to the videos. Okay, today is a very, very special day. Today we are taking my R34 GTR to Midori Sebi to get a brand new titanium exhaust for the GTR. So I haven't done a full build plan for you guys just yet, but my goal is to build the GTR in Japan and show you guys step-by-step -step on what it's really like to get a car built out in Japan. And uh, Midori Sebi is, is my shop of choice. So this is just the beginning of the mods. Full titanium exhaust. I think I even have the titanium downpipe already on this. We're gonna find out today, but uh, the goal is me and Brian in the R33 right here. We're gonna cruise over to Midori Sebi and get the exhaust installed on the GTR. Today is going to be amazing. to the Midori Sebi Center. Oh, I am so excited right now. So once we get in, I'll, talk, I'll tell you guys a little bit more about like Midori Sebi and kind of like the Japanese culture around like these little shops. Officially made it to Midori Sebi. If you guys watched last year's Japan videos, you will remember all of this. This was by far my favorite GTR shop that we came to. And one of my favorite things about it is that it's so small, but the work that they do out of here with what they have is just unbelievable. In this room is where they build the engines and they have like air sealed room that they like open up the RB26s with and like build them perfect down to a T. Not even a speck of dust can get into that room, which is really cool. You can see it right in here yeah see so this is where they build they have like a screen door it's really Wait, that's insane yeah so through that door right there is their engine build room i'm sure that we'll get a tour a little bit later on but they're all on break we're gonna go get some lunch and then come back and install the midori sebi titanium exhaust right before we leave to go get lunch i just want to show you guys uh, the owner of midori sebi mr uchigawa this is his gtr and one of the most well-known and most popular R32s ever, like of all time, which is so cool. It is time to start working on the R34. Now, I'm not too sure how it works in Japan. I don't know if I'm actually allowed to like help or anything like that, but we're replacing the old Fujitsubo exhaust with the titanium uh, Midori Sebi exhaust. Let's see. Wow. Oh my gosh. Holy, look at this. Oh my God. <laughs> this is the nicest exhaust I have ever seen. So they actually have one that's even louder than this, but I opted for the one that's a little bit quieter. I don't want to be too obnoxious, especially in Japan. That's not really like the, the culture here to have like a crazy, crazy loud exhaust. So I wanted to go super OG. And then uh, this is basically like their top level titanium exhaust, titanium muffler all the way back to the downpipe. This is going to be so rad. The tip on this is... You already have the titanium downpipe. I know. <laughs> this is going to be so amazing. Man, I want to see what the badge says. Oh, yeah, the Midori Sebi badge. Yeah, that's a, like in, in. Yeah. So it's the high power silent exhaust. Not gonna be too loud. Insane. <laughs> oh man, I'm just, I want this. Can I have this? Can I have this on my car? <laughs> So I actually do have the Mines downpipe on the 34 already, which is a really good titanium downpipe. So it's gonna pair with the titanium Midori Sebi exhaust. How is this even real life right now? I'm modding my R34 in Japan at Midori Sebi with a brand new titanium exhaust. This is the coolest thing ever. So uh, we actually do leave this cat right there. So it is gonna be pretty quiet, but still very, very nice. Comp 
compare it to the Midori Sebi. So the Midori Sebi also has a resonator right here and then the muffler up top. So it'll probably be comparable in sound, but this is all about performance with the R34. So, so excited to get this thing on. Oh, here we go. This is so awesome. Inside of this exhaust. That is crazy. This is the nicest exhaust I've put on any of my cars ever. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh, the exhaust looks amazing. He's just buttoning up a few last things. That was like a 10 minute exhaust install. That's what's so cool about this. this these guys are complete pros with the RB26s and GTRs in general. So literally anything they do takes two seconds. And it's so cool to be able to actually like witness them working on the cars. Like this is just a beyond dream for me. So um, the exhaust is pretty much installed. It looks amazing. I'm excited to hear what it sounds like. Wow, yeah, the pie welds and the Midori Sebi exhausts are just unreal. See, you guys give me crap for wiping down my exhaust after I install an exhaust. This is what you're supposed to do. No fingerprints are gonna be left on the titanium exhaust. Even the OGs in Japan do it. Oh, here we go. Oh, I'm so excited. It looks incredible. First startup. <laughs> oh, it sounds so good. Wow. wow. It's so mean. Oh, man. It sounds amazing. <laughs> Dude. That's how it should sound, 100%. <laughs> Best in the world. Oh, it's such a good little rumble. Exactly what I wanted. Oh man. So while we're finishing up the exhaust at Midori, I was coming to look at some of the pieces that they have, and this is why I love like small OG Japan shops. This is this is the entire office right here, and they just have tons of really rare GTR parts back here, like carbon fiber extended wing risers for the R34, carbon vents, uh, carbon pillar in the back, tons of just little pieces that you will literally find it nowhere else. And I'm so salty, but. I can't get these right now. I have to pace myself. But uh, next time I come back to Japan, I need to come back to Midori and grab the wing risers and the carbon vents. This is next. Just finished up with the exhaust and this crazy GTR just came by. This one actually has a Midori Sebi and endless brake kit right here. So crazy. Fully built. Wow. Same exhaust as me too. So before we go for a ride in my GTR, Roaster Nukiaga is going to take us for a ride in this R34, which is fully built as well. So I'm excited for this. So I'm gonna tell you the brief specs about this okay. car. So this car has a fully built engine. Okay. It's a, basically a 2.8 liter stroker kit with wow. a GT, um, GT2 530 Kai turbos and it has a V cam. It makes about like. Bariki, how much is this car? Dynapack, it's about 500. Boost. Like, it makes about like 550 horsepower to the wheels. Oh my god. Yes, exactly. This is what I want. That sounds insane. So this is pretty much the goal for my personal R34 GTR as well. It has a minimal multifunction gauge too, so it's pretty it has like good, good yeah. use from like the early 2000s. So, 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 yeah. The boost boost gauge is, you know, you can see that it, yeah, it, it can go up to 2.0. So, wow. which has on the whole crew built this. Built this. Wow. Oh, <laughs> 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 Alright, this is the 
That was amazing. So this car is um, coilovers. It has a nitrogen force coilover. So it has like a six grand coilovers inside of this car, which is like crazy. Crazy. Nitrogen. That sounds awesome. Oh. <laughs> The brakes! Oh! <laughs> Get stop laughing! <laughs> wow! Wow! That was insane! <laughs> He's crazy! He's a crazy! Set the GoPro up! Oh man! There we go! Uchinaga-san is going to drive my GTR! Oh man! This is exciting! This is so crazy. It's so that more than it's a little bit of 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 so when you start driving it, because the smoke started to come out from right, the exhaust right, right, because yeah. it's brand new one. Yeah. Sounds awesome. It sounds so good.
That's awesome. That is really good to hear. If you get a thorough maintenance into this car, it will be like that monster that we drove. Yes, that's the goal. That's the goal. That's the goal. You have a good base model. You have a good base car. enough time to do it too. Yes. So you're gonna build this car in here, right? And when you when you export this car in the future, you won't have any issues. No holes, you know, popping, everything. No issues. That's the goal. That's the goal. Yeah. Oh, dude. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. New exhaust burning off. Okay, before we leave Midori Sebi, I just want to give a huge thank you to our newest sponsor, Meguiar's. Meguiar's is now the official car care brand of Legends Media, so if you guys are in the market for any car care products, check out Meguiar's. I will have links to Meguiar's in my description as well as their socials on the screen right now. Uh, this is what I've been using to keep my R34 clean the entire trip, and this is what I will keep using. So huge thank you to Meguiar for making this Japan trip possible, and I'm excited to see what we're going to do in the future. So I think the highlight of my day was Mr. Uchi Nagasan telling me that my GTR is Midori approved. That's the coolest thing ever. He did say that my tire pressure is a little bit high, so he's fixing that for me right now. This was definitely one of the best days of my entire life. This is like my pinnacle GTR dream. Having my own 34 coming to Midori Sebi and actually speaking to the owner of Midori Sebi about having my 34 built here in like a real Japanese GTR shop. So. That's the goal, and we're gonna make it happen. All right. All right. Sad to leave, but today was so amazing at Midori. I cannot believe I got a titanium exhaust installed at Midori on my 34 in Japan. Like. This is so crazy, but we're gonna leave now and me and Tiana are actually gonna try and go to the zoo. We have finally made it. That was definitely a struggle. Driving in Japan by myself is so hard, but we are figuring it out. We just parked in this parking structure, and uh, across the street, there's the zoo up there, but there's actually a temple with like a little market down here. So me and Tiana are gonna go check that out for a little bit, and then go to the zoo at nighttime. I've never been to a zoo at nighttime, so hopefully it's good. But we're just gonna do some, uh, we're just gonna explore some Japan stuff. There's a stick of crab right here. <laughs> yes. Awesome Japanese snack. Oh my god. This is amazing. Is it good? Yeah, crab. <laughs> it's so good. Oh my gosh. Well, rip to our plan. The zoo is actually closed. Our choice for tonight, Japanese cheeseburger. I got, I have to. Cheeseburgers are my favorite. What better than JDM cheeseburger right now? Shut up! Hi, bye-bye. Making best friends. Let's get a, let's get a close up here. He looks bomb. Oh yeah, all right. Survey says? Yeah? Wow. Yeah? Yeah. Oh my god. Compared to an American hamburger. Different.
Harajuku. Today was the rollout of Tokyo Auto Salon, so there should be tons of crazy, oh wow, there is a lot of people here. Yeah, so there should be tons of just crazy cars out tonight. It's gonna be awesome. Oh, dude, this thing is sick. What kid is that? It's all original. Really? Yeah, that's wow. amazing. While we're here, we're gonna take a look at Sam's R34 slash R33. You guys probably know him as Samit. Ah. Hey. <laughs> What's all done? So super reliable build for just non-stop driving to the track, drifting all day, driving home. Yeah. Uh, oh, you from, drive it to the track and drive yeah. it home? Wow. Yeah. Um, so just front mount, standard like crossover pipe. We haven't got a forward facing on it. Nismo 740cc injectors, fuel pressure regulator fuel pump, link ECU with all the sensors and safety parameters. So that keeps you driving home, right, right if there's right. a problem. And then yeah, GTX 3071R, That's standard, so standard manifold. This thing is so cool though. Yeah. Me and Sam are going to plan a trip to the track when I come back next time and that's going to be a lot of fun. Sure, it's going to be a lot of fun. So I was actually here the first night, um, the first night I got to Japan, uh, Masa and Albo took me to Tatsumi and now I'm here in my own 34, which is pretty freaking crazy. So, dude, there's tons of cars here too. We gotta get the shots with the, uh, the buildings in the background, dude. It's gonna be so awesome. Yeah, bro, this skyline is so pretty. So to end our night, we ended up at Tatsumi with Masa's R34, my R34, uh, Top Rank's R33, and Albo is right over there somewhere. So tonight was really awesome. Maverick helped me get some really awesome rollers and actually got a super awesome GoPro lap of us doing the entire Tatsumi loop. So to end this video, I'll end you guys with that. But I'm going to go ahead and head home. We have a super early morning tomorrow going to Mines and Spoon. It's going to be amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and like the video because we have tons of more R34 content coming. It's going to be amazing. I'll see you guys in the next one.